Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, I think this is turned on. Let me stop a minute to check. Yes, flush him. Right then, I'm going to do a little bit of a, a cycle ride, which I've done earlier. I saw my return trip after visiting two churches that I visited last year but couldn't get inside. Today, because it's a Sunday, I've been successful and I've been able to get in. So I thought just as a little finishing off for the lovely day, one of the rare days we've had this summer, by the way, blue sky, look. Blue sky, no rain, a little bit of a nice warm breeze. I've had a lovely time. Um, on the way here, I stopped at the station and had a nice piece of cake and a nice hot coffee. And when I got to um, Tickenham Church, the warden's wife made me a lovely cup of strong tea because they knew I'd cycled from Western, you see. And um, I also had a lovely tour around and a lovely talk. Lots of features were pointed out to me of the church, which is all, um, that isn't captured on video when you talk, and I don't do that because of confidentiality, but I did my own video, which hopefully will turn out. Um, and another couple who've been all over Ireland studying churches were in there, so we had like a history lesson today, and we were sharing knowledge. They were very interested in um, the Priory, Woodspring Priory, which I go to, they were very interested in that, and I think they're going to visit there tomorrow. Uh, right. I can't promise that this is going to be very good, this video, because it's um, controlling the camera and the bike at the same time. Now, I have got a little extra handle on the, on the camera now, so to help me steady it a bit more. There's a plane, somebody going on holiday, look. Easy jet. Of course, another thing I found with this camera, sometimes I seem to cut the tops of things off. Um, it doesn't have the same sort of camera range as my mobile, which used to seem to take in everything. This one's more focused. Um, I will put it to one side when someone's coming, like now. Yeah, there aren't so many people um, out and about now, so we're us earlier. It's a bit quieter now. It's an ideal place for bringing people to bring their children to learn to cycle. You know, you can have little targets for them to reach, have a picnic halfway and a drink for them. I mean, I haven't got any transport as such. This is my transport. Anyway, what was I saying about this? Yeah, sometimes I found that it um, doesn't always get the image I want exactly. So here we are, we're on the strawberry line, everyone. I set off this morning at half past ten. It wasn't an early start because uh, this time of year, it doesn't get dark to half nine. I've allowed for that. I've allowed for that. When I turn the camera sideways, it's because people are coming. Right back here now. 
There, oh, I'm just going to stop. There is um, Yutton Church there. Which I've visited before and I need to go back there because there might be some people I'm doing, Somerset people buried there, friends of other members of the family history I'm doing over there. Yeah, it's a lovely evening. I think a lot of people are really enjoying this. <laughs> Last week, it's not too hot either. I mean, it's such, it's more like spring weather. It's like we're behind in the seasons. This feels like, um, well, maybe at end of April, beginning of May. That's what it seems like to me. Bat homes there, look. Little homes in the trees for bats. Yeah, once upon a time, the strawberries would come from Cheddar along here. Maybe to be shipped somewhere at uh, Clevedon, Bristol, who knows? Somebody coming. Turn sideways. There's um Gatton Church again over there. No, I haven't needed a coat on today. I didn't bring a heavy coat. I didn't even bring a jumper. That's how confident I've been today. I brought a windshield, which isn't waterproof. It's very, very light showerproof, but it does keep you warm if it gets chilly. The wind is really warm here. Very warm. I've been all over those hills over there, by the way, as well. the beautiful sun, Somerset countryside. I can see Crook's Peak over there in a minute when we get away from these bushes from this clearing. Crook's Peak right in the distance there. I, I can see it with the naked eye. Stop a minute. I like to stop now and again to get my bearings. Just to check around as well, there's a man walking on his own. He might have a dog, but you've always got to be wary. So this is just a little bit of video I'm doing. They've um, altered the end part here so that it's more, it's more safer for cyclists to cross that very busy road uh, further up there. There's a very busy road and um, They've extended a bit of the track so that people can cross easier. I've decided I'm going to take the longer route home and do the Puxton track. It's too nice an evening to go on a main road following a path. I've decided to... <coughs> take the extra bit of strawberry line because what happens, this bit here goes to um, near Congressbury where we join a we have to cross a busy main road, right?
Right, if we just look through there, we can see Congress Street Church with a steeple. Obviously, I reckon their line once went along there. I mean, it could be that one day they'll open that bit up. They might open that bit up one day because that, that looks obvious where the track went, doesn't it? Or it might be in a sideline. It's so obvious, look. Otherwise, you've got to do like a very strange turn there. So I reckon that was part of the line as well. And then we go across a little bridge there. Cyclists slow down, give way to vehicles. What's going to come across there? This is absolutely gorgeous, everybody. Look at that. It's a beautiful English countryside with the grasses. Our beautiful heritage trail, this strawberry line that we've got. All the different plants. It truly is beautiful. Of course, going along up there, some little greenlet, little bridge there. Might have had a very important function when it was part of the railway, you see. In the past, well, the railway line would have gone over that, you see. Yeah, there's lots of walks. I see somebody walking up there. There's a walk through there, you see. You can't cycle, you can walk. You can't always take your bike everywhere, though. You can't, I've just waited, really. I've slowed down as well. There's that, that chap. There's not a lot of room along here. It's very muddy. I just want to get ahead of him when we do the next part. How muddy it is, look. You've had a lot of rain. I got, this is where I got filthy this morning. Just on this stretch alone, I got filthy. It's dried up more since this morning, actually. So this is Sheila. It's July the 15th, 2012. And I've been to two churches. I went to Tickenham. I can't, I can't remember the name. It's got a very unusual name. In fact, two people were going to look up its name. So I can't tell you that off the top of my head, but I think one of them was St. Juliet or something like that. But there was two. It was a double barreled name. And then, um, then I went to St. Michael's at Clapton Gordano, but it had another name. Um, the village, beautiful village with a very ancient 14th century pub as well. Um, it looked a bloody brilliant place to go and have a few real owls, I tell you. It looks like my sort of local, a real pub. And that's all on vi Well, if it isn't on video, I've taken photographs of it. There we go, it's a jumbo jet, look. Leaving Bristol. Flying somewhere, could be anywhere, couldn't it? Cyprus, somewhere hot. You can hear it. People are fed up with the rain, they're flying abroad again. Now what I used to do, or I do sometimes if time's tight or it's cold and horrible, instead of going on the, the other part of the strawberry line, I turn right and follow I stay on the pavement and go on, follow a dangerous road back to um, Wick St Lawrence Way. But today, because it's such a beautiful evening, and I prefer to be out in the fresh air, to be quite honest, I feel so much better for it. I really do. I feel so healthy when I'm out that um, I'm going to cross this road and do the other side of the track going towards Sanford. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I'm done full circle now. I came here this morning and there were some students having a great time 
on canoes. They were having, obviously, I don't know what sort of students they were. They were not, but they were on brilliant time on canoes here this morning. Um, don't ask me what this stream or river is. It could be the one that comes from Axbridge. I used to know the name of it actually, but I can't remember at the moment. Not Axbridge. Comes from Wick St. Lawrence. Um, over that way, there's a river. But I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head at the moment. But it's a lot skinnier further up. And then look, it widens it and meanders around that way, see? And uh, like I said, I've done all these hills. But what I'm doing now, I'm going to cross, I'm going to follow the cyclist pathway now on the cycle 26 route, I think it's called. Yeah, route 26, the National Cycle Network. And I'm going to be doing them. Um, the other half of a little bit more, there's more of the cycle ride. I won't be going on to Winscombe, that would be a third section. I will be going, when I get to near Sanford, I'll be turning off towards Puxton and then back home that way, a lo lovely scenic route. But um, like I say, with that garage, sometimes if I'm in a hurry and I want to get home or whatever, I go that way, up the path, all the way back. But this is a new bit of the route along here look this is the extension that they've done recently to, normally you have to go along well I used to go on the pavement down there actually but they've built this for walkers and cyclists and it is rather nice isn't it Lovely river, lovely scene, lovely beautiful Somerset. Lovely evening. Yes, I can go in there for some Greek food, look. Of course, drink and drive and put an end to a lot of stuff, see? Put an end to a lot of it. Right, I'm gonna turn off for a minute, I think. So coming up to the where I'm going to cross the road and go to another part of the strawberry line. But here we go, this is um, the end of this section of the, the route. It's uh, six miles to Winscombe and nine miles to Cheddar from here. And there's, um, what do you call it, Congressbury Church there, which I've also been to by the way. Right, see you in five minutes, just wait for me along there. <laughs> 